a pleasant day everyone by the way this is professor levita mapatak for our practice on the solving the quantum numbers so to start with let us try to remember with our previous lesson about quantum numbers that there are four quantum numbers that is first that is the principal quantum number which has a symbol of n the second is the simultal quantum number with a sem symbol of l and try to remember what is principal quantum number it has a value of one two three four five six seven and two that is the simultal quantum number with a symbol of l always remember this has something to do with the shell so if it is the subshell is s it has a value of zero this one here and if p it has a value of one d it has a value of two and f a value of three for the third quantum number that is known as the magnetic quantum number with a symbol of m sub l that one there always remember once the sub shell is s your m sub l will, ha will have a value of zero and for p it will have a value of negative one zero one for d it will have a value of negative two negative one zero positive one and two and the last one if it is f that is having a value of negative three negative two this one here negative one zero one two three and for the spin they will only have two values and that is either positive one half and negative one half okay so those are the values of our four one number but before we can solve for the quantum number be sure that we should know the electronic configuration of the different element which we had already discussed in our lesson three chapter two lesson three so for instance let us have this into an example we have lithium here okay that is lithium here here so your lithium has an atomic number of three that atomic number will also be equal to the number of atoms as we have already discussed in our introductory part of what is an electron okay so if there are three according to the electronic configuration this will be our electronic configuration setup okay this is the step by step using the off ball way of filling the electronic configuration it will have that 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 so on and so forth so let us apply this with our lithium so our lithium has three electrons therefore how are we going to fill in the electronic configuration of this that will be 1s2 2s1 where are we going to have the number of electrons that will be on the top that is 2 plus 1 is 3 so that is the electronic configuration of lithium followed by aluminum aluminum has 13 number of electrons or the, its atomic number is 13 therefore that will be 1s2 2s2 2p6 add that one that is 10 then 3s2 12 3p1 why one here because it's only 13 so as you can see here rp could either have a value of 1 to 6 okay rs will have a value of one to two electrons 
So this is the electronic configuration of our aluminum. Followed by iron. Iron has atomic number of 26, therefore, let us have that into its electronic configuration. That is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. That is already, from this portion here, that is already 10 electrons. And the last one is 6, 3d6. Why 6 here? Because this is already 20 and what is the electronic the number of atoms of number of electrons in iron 26 so add it with six here as i've said b could have a minimum value of one and to the maximum value of 10 electrons and the last one is cesium okay cesium here has your cesium here has an atomic number of 58 Therefore, following our set up here, that is, you will have the last portion here of 6s2 and 4f2. Add it up, that is equivalent to 58, which is the atomic number or the number of electrons of cesium. Then, let us apply this into our orbital filling. As I have said before, for S orbital, it will only have a maximum of how many electrons? Two electrons. So, actually this triangle here, no not triangle, but rectangle here, will symbolize our orbital. So, for S orbital, as I have said, how many orbital will be in the S configuration? It will only have one. And how many electrons will fill this? That is 2 maximum. For P, how many orbital? There will be 3. Why? Because in the P orbital, you have 6 electrons. So this will be equivalent to 6. Or in every orbital, it will have 2 electrons. So, so 2, 4, 6. For the D orbital here, before we go on with our feeling of orbital there will be how many five okay why because as i have said in the d orbital how many electrons will it occupy there will be 10 therefore there will be five orbital 10 divided by 2 and finally we have the f orbital here the f orbital f orbital will have how many number of electrons for the s 14 divide by 2 there will be 7 okay so let us go back now to our lithium so our lithium has let us have only the last two orbital from our previous slide here this one here okay so for our lithium it has that electronic configuration of 1s2 2s2 therefore this will symbolize for your 1s2 orbital and 2s1 orbital here so as i have said in filling the electrons it should have up first then followed by down so this is our 1s2 and this will be our 2s1 because there are only one electron here therefore you will only have one electron up okay so for aluminum we already know that the here for the atomic number or number of electrons of aluminum that is 13 so we had the electronic configuration of 3s2 3p1 so how are we going to have the orbital filling of this okay so this will be our 3s2 and this will be our 3p as we have said that s will only have one orbital here for P, we will have 6. So, this will have a full number of electrons that is up and down. For the P, that is 1 electron. Therefore, we already know that the M sub L here for this orbital, this will be for the first one is negative 1. 
401 okay that is for aluminum and for iron we already know that iron has 26 for the last two electronic configuration it is 4s2 3d6 so how are you going to have that for the orbital filling that is it here therefore that is 4s2 here then d how many orbitals will have in the d there will be 10 that is 1 2 3 4 5 so the first orbital will have negative 2 because this is d negative 1 0 positive 1 positive 2 so how many electrons there are six electrons here therefore that is how are you going to fill the electrons is up one two three four five then there are six before you go back to the first orbital okay therefore the last electron here is in the negative two okay four we have cesium that is 58 cesium here the number of electrons is 58 and as we have already solved in the electronic configuration it has the last two of 6s2 and 4f2 therefore that will be have here for your 6s2 that is up and down okay then you have how many orbital here you will have seven because this is s okay that is one two three four five six seven because f will have 14 electrons so the first orbital will be negative three negative two negative one zero one two three okay so how many electrons you have you have only two therefore that is up up okay that will be for the two electrons so we are now ready to we are now ready to fill up our okay here quantum numbers so in this column here the first column is the element then our last orbital for the second column here then we will have the four quantum numbers the principal quantum number n then the azimuthal l then the third that is m sub l and the spin m sub s let us have it one by one so let us apply now this to the quantum numbers how are we going to solve them for the quantum numbers so we already know that the quantum numbers will have four that is the n the l that is the principal quantum number the zimutal then the m sub l and the spin here okay so we have lithium we had already the last what is needed you should always remember here that's lithium you should always remember what is needed in the quantum number will be the last okay last electronic configuration so if this is now our lithium okay this is the last con the last electronic configuration which is needed that is 2s1 okay therefore because that will be our basis for the quantum numbers so for lithium here lithium we already know that lithium the last one for lithium last electronic configuration is 2s1 okay so always remember this 2 here will be for the value of your n this s here is the sub level which will be the value of your l always remember also that l value if it is s that is zero if it is p it has one if it is d two and f it will be three okay so let us have it here our last electronic configuration is 2s1 this is it therefore what will be your n as i have said this is your n it's 2 because it is s therefore your l here will be equal to 0 your m sub l will be equal to 0 because you have only up once electron up 
that is positive one half. But if it is complete, that will be negative one half. For aluminum, here alumi aluminum. Our last electronic configuration is three p one. Therefore, what will be our n? As I have said, this will be for your value or your n. Then for p for l. That is n, okay? For p, okay? Your l will be equal to one because it's p. And what will be our m sub l? Your m sub l here is where will be the last electron? Okay, as you can see here, the last electron is on that negative one. Therefore, that is the value of your m sub l. And as you can see here, you have only up. Therefore, your m sub s is positive one half. Next, for iron. Iron, the last electronic configuration is 3D6. 3D6. Okay. If it is 3D6, you already know that N will be equal to 3 here. Then, it's D for L. D is equal to 2. Then, our L sub L, as you can see here. Okay. How many electrons? There will be 6. Therefore, that is up. One, two, three, four, five. That is all up. Then, because it's six, you go back. Therefore, this is down. Okay. Therefore, your M sub M sub S pin will be negative one half because it's down. Okay. Then the next one is the cesium. In cesium, the last electronic configuration is four S two. Therefore, your N will be 4. Your S, S is equal to 3 because our L, if it is S, that is 3. Then, where are we going to have the M sub L? That is here. Isn't it? It is negative 3, negative 2. Where is our last electron? It is a negative 2. Here. And the speed is up. Therefore, it is positive one half. So to sum it up, okay, to sum it up, therefore our lithium will have here, our lithium will have, our lithium will have n equal to 2 because the last electron configuration is 2s1, n is equal to 2, then l is equal to 0. M sub L is 0, M sub S is positive 1 half. For aluminum, we have the ele last electronic configuration is 3P1, therefore our N is 3, P is 1, uh, L is 1 because it's P, then where is our electron? It is in negative 1 here, therefore our M sub L is negative 1, then it's up, therefore it's positive one half. For iron, we have 3D6, okay? 3D6, that is N is 3, D, because it's D, therefore L is 2. Then, where, we, where can we see our last electron that is in negative 2? That is M sub L, because it is down, therefore it's negative one half. And the last one is cesium. That is 4F2, the last electron. Therefore, electronic configuration, that is 4, 4N. L is 3. M sub L is negative 2. And M sub S is positive 1 half. I hope that you had learned something in our lesson. So, keep safe everyone. And thank you for listening.